Farm. This is an unlisted private quick test cast for my benefit only. You're going to benefit from this, I hope. Tell me what you think, the quality, um, the sound, whatnot. It's Friday the 4th of October, uh, video 1, uh, scenario 1, video 2. I did scenario 2 first, me being backwards and all that, uh, to be sure, to be sure. Um, here's video 2 with scenario 1. Um, they are unlisted, I'm going live um, unlisted so I can just release them straight after. I don't want uh, live and direct interference, I just want to see how I represent and then um, crack on. Alright, so thank you, here we go. Officer Trusty Interaction Scenario 1. Big shout out to men like Peter, Steve and Andy, G-Star and myself All right, for what we've done. Here we go. Scenario 1. A typical UK officer, constable, agent, trusty interaction, stop and search in the United Kingdom. This is an agency of Metropolitan uh, rank and file officers we're talking about for the United Kingdom. Nice effect, Steve. Good effect. Beautiful, brother. Uh, in danger of looking professional. During a stop and search, it is quite common for a, a constable, officer, agent to inquire as to the following. PCO could be added there. What is your name? Where do you live? Are you carrying identification? Where are you going? What are you doing here? There are certain situations where you can be stopped and searched without reasonable grounds. The search must be approved by a senior officer before it can transpire. A senior uh, police officer, agent, uh, trustee may grant a search if he, she suspects any of the below. A serious violent crime could have taken place. You have been suspected of carrying a weapon or may have used one. You are in a specific area or location of interest at the wrong time. Wag wag boobs. You are suspected to be carrying a controlled substance, e.g. drugs. Being stopped by the police. The force, as it's known. You are being stopped without reasonable grounds. You should be informed why you have been stopped without reasonable grounds. The officer will ask you for your name, date of birth, address and postcode, identifying information about your person. They may ask you where you are going, why you are going there, who, what, why, when and where, basically. They may ask you if you're carrying anything on your person. They may inform you they're going to conduct a search of your person. During the search, if they find a controlled substance or weapon, the officer constable will then inform you of your rights. Inform man they are being arrested and detained, followed by an interview under suspicion of committing a crime. They will take you to the station to be booked in. Booked. Chapters. Verses. Characters. Um, <laughs> sentencing. Where they relieve you of your property and anything you could use to harm yourself and they will hold you in a cell until your interview. They have 24 hours in which to, be inter to interview you and charge you before you have to be released without charge or released pending inquiries on bail where you may have to report to the police station periodically. End of slideshow, click to exit. And then that would be scenario one, what we've gone through here. Yeah, uh, scenario two's already done, so uh, muchas gracias. Thank you fam. That's uh, short and sweet. This is the layout. I'm just testing the equipment, the sound, the audio, and running through these uh, Fabulous presentations that uh, Steve, Pete, Andy and I have put together. We have another presentation of which I'll test um, and I'll get these videos on the channel. Um, good quality. I'll go through it again calmly. These are just for you to have a look at and see where we're at, what we're doing. We have an interactive quiz. I'm building for the dot com with G Star into the dot com. And we have a standalone quiz that we're going to uh, test you on when this is all done and dusted. You're going to get um, an interactive quiz. Um, that can be given out via email, run offline, doesn't need an internet connection, and has got um, a test, the same uh, as what we're mirroring on the dot .com, which is what I'm putting the um, scenario one and scenario two, how to identify and commit joinder in the public, as the public, with full liability, and go down and be booked in and take the rap. Then there is number two, where you uh, manage, as I've said, your person, and um, you'd see video two for that, uh, video one, which is scenario two, this is video two with scenario one. I like to uh, mix it up, make life hard. 
So you'd look at scenario two that I've uh, just uploaded now, and you'd see that, and then you'd look at uh, how we would manage the instruments and conveyances for the pull, um, police force, the metropolitan officers, and the uh, liabilities associated with um, what they would call criminal offences. Uh, <laughs> oxymoron. So uh, thank you all. Very, very good. And um, ciao for now. Bosh.